The coronavirus currently in the news has actually been around for a long time, having first been identified in the 1960s. This coronavirus originated in Wuhan, China, and different strains of the coronavirus have been found in a range of animals ranging from camels to bats. As of the 30th of January 2020, the World Health Organization has declared the coronavirus as a global emergency. This is not because of what is happening in China, but the fact that it is rapidly spreading around the world and the number of different countries infected continues to rise. Signs and symptoms of the virus include fever, severe coughing, shortness of breath, all of which are similar to flu-like symptoms. Currently, if a case is suspected, the patient and their belongings must be isolated in the side room with doors and windows closed. Do not enter the room until you have sought specialist advice and if you have already come into contact with the person, leave the room as quickly as possible and wash your hands thoroughly. People most at risk include those who have been to Wuhan recently or have come into contact with a confirmed case of the coronavirus along with those presenting symptoms mentioned earlier. You must try and identify potential cases as soon as possible, thereby eliminating transmission to other people. Should someone be suspected of having the coronavirus, do not let them come into even the same room as other people, but if this does happen, they too must be quarantined. Should you need to contact the person, for example, to collect a full medical history, only speak to them by telephone. You must contact the local infectious disease specialist and the health protection team as soon as possible. This is based on the information we have as of early February 2020, so you must constantly keep yourself updated on the current news. Viruses like these can mutate and situations can drastically change very quickly to ensure you follow the most up-to-date guidelines.